Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab your mind to revive your body. Specifically today, we're gonna to talk about something important for your body, your feet and shoes. What we wanna to know today is how do we find good shoes that are gonna help you stay healthy and also when it's time to get rid of shoes. So stay tuned for our tips. All right, so today I brought two pairs of shoes and we're gonna talk about and investigate how to find good shoes, when to get rid of them, when to know what's not working and when to know which one's working and what to buy. I wanted to give a shout out to my client, patient Ivan. He donated his shoes because they're just bad and I'm gonna show you why they're bad. So we're gonna check this out. These are some new balances for tennis, but really the assessment's about the same. We have step one. What you wanna do is you wanna find a line that goes from this inner big toe shoelace right over here and you go right over here. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna assess, you're looking for a couple things. Is it wobbly side to side or does it start moving one way or the other? So you can see that if I'm just on this, you know, over time that this, this one's just really unstable and he unfortunately came in for a lot of right knee issues. His shoes were giving him a lot of problem. So this one's a little bit better, but not by much. The next step, number two, is you just basically put this back here and you wanna see, and as I do that, this is basically when your foot hits the ground. When your foot hits the ground, you can see that this also kinks him in. So he's gotta work harder. Those muscles on the outside of his leg have to work a lot harder. And guess what? They were very tight on him. So you want that. So then this is actually the most important thing that was a big shock factor. You wanna check the metatarsal break. If I take that pressure and do this, I'm putting a good amount of pressure, about 60, 70 pounds. Now on this one, you can see it folds really easy, maybe only 20 pounds. So you can imagine for him to really push off and get over to this forefoot, that's a lot more difficult. And then the last thing you wanna check is, does this, if I take this front end, it should be able to have supination, pronation pretty easy. Supination, oh, really tough. So in order for Ivan to be able to push off, he's just not, nothing's allowing him to push off with these specific shoes. So it's time to get rid of them. So let's talk about new shoes that I bought. I love Brooks. I'm gonna swear up and down. When I was running college track, I talk about Brooks all the time. You know, this is not endorsement, it's a personal endorsement. Uh, my legs and shins love Brooks. So we're gonna talk about these. These are specifically the Brooks Adrenaline, very brand new. And I wanna know, I just ordered these online. And if you go to the running store, it's probably best to go to the running store and check out all the same pair of the size you like. So we wanna check that out. Let's see here. So if I were to assess this again, right down the line, you can see that it goes relatively forward. And if I do like just like 15 taps, you can see that, yeah, this one's a little bit more wobbly than this one. This one's a little bit more ideal, just rocks like a little rocking chair. Now, if I do this, same thing, not bad. So I would say, you know, if I were grade A on this side, this would be like a B plus. I'll still take it and, you know, run with it. And then I wanna check that metatarsal break. That looks pretty good and then see if it's about the same amount of pressure. So the material on the inside is the important thing. So you can see that's good. And then now I wanna see, does this twist equally? Sometimes it just twists this way and doesn't twist this way, but this twists pretty equally. So these are good for my feet. My, my dogs are gonna love this, you know, especially that I'm gonna put a little bit more mileage this summer. So this is a good pair of shoes. Now, if you find that they're wobbling or doing the exact same or turning or anything strange, then it's time to get rid of them. And that's the, the appropriate thing to do. You don't wanna wear them for too much longer. Um, it might look good on the outside, but that material on the inside is, has busted. And especially a lot of you during the pandemic haven't changed shoes for almost two years. That's the key right now that it's a time thing. The material actually breaks down over time. So it might look good, but it's time to get rid of them. And a lot of people are coming in with feet pain. So check those out. All right, there's a whole new science about running, shoes, foot mechanics, biomechanics, and I love what Brooks has done 
with the market. There's not a lot of advertising. A lot of people don't hear about it, but I wanna self-promote it. I've been a big fan since my running days at Boston University since 1999. They've helped me with shin splints. And so I wanna give that shout out. I also wanna give a shout out to my mentors over at the Institute of Physical Art for helping me figure out a good way to just really assess shoes, make sure it's time to, when it's time to kick the bucket, you, it's time to kick the bucket because they do cause problems even if they look good just like i said so hopefully we'd love your feedback check those out if you've had leg issues and then you, all of a sudden you got new shoes and found the right shoes we'd love to hear that leave those comments below and we'd love your support please subscribe to us right now if you haven't and we love to pump out that information so thank you thank you and if you like this video please share it and leave some likes i'm dr lin remember we heal smarter not harder.